But the overarching thing is nevertheless a kind of uh, mimetic optimism pandemic. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, okay, let me ask you, do you think EAC to some degree is a cult? Define cult. I think a lot of human progress is made when uh, you have independent thought. Hmm. So you have individuals that are able to think freely and very powerful uh, mimetic systems can kind of lead to group think. There's something in human nature that leads to like mass hypnosis, mass hysteria, where we start to think alike. Yeah. Whenever there's a sexy idea that captures yeah. our minds. And so it's actually hard to like break us apart, like yeah. pull us apart, diversify a thought. So I'm to that degree, to, to which degree is everybody kind of chanting eak eak like the sheep and animal farm well first of all it's fun it's rebellious right yeah. like uh you know many um i i think we lean into there, there there's this concept of sort of meta irony right of of sort of being on the boundary of like we're not sure if they're serious or not and it's yeah. it's much more playful and much more fun mm -hmm. right like um for example we talk about thermodynamics being our god mm -hmm. right um, and sometimes we do cult like things, but there's no like ceremony and, and robes and whatnot. Uh, not so yet. not yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but ultimately, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I totally agree that it seems to me that humans want to feel like they're part of a group. So they naturally try to agree with their neighbors and, and find common ground. And, and that leads to sort of mode collapse in the space of ideas, right? We used to have sort of one cultural uh, island that was allowed. It was a typical subspace of thought and anything that was diverting from that subspace of thought was suppressed or you were canceled, right? Now we've created a new mode, but the whole point is that we're not trying to have a very restricted space of thought. There's not just one way to think about EAC and its many forks. And, and the point is that there are many forks and there can be many clusters and many islands and I shouldn't be in control of it uh, in any way. Uh, I mean, there's no formal org uh, whatsoever. Uh, I just put out uh, tweets and, and uh, certain blog posts and people are free to defect and fork if there's an aspect they don't like. And so that makes it so that there should be a sort of deterritorialization in the space of ideas so that we don't end up in one cluster that's very cult-like. Mm -hmm. um, and so cults usually, they, they, don't, they don't allow people to defect or start competing forks, whereas we encourage it, right? Mm 